bit of a pouncy look on him. morning of January 1st, 2022. What? We just got some uh, cinnamon buns from the bakery here. And let's go find some other stuff to uh, create a breakfast. What do you say, love? Hell of a spot here right on the beach. Look at this. Crazy. There's a mask mandate in Belize, which is why we're wearing our masks outside. You have to wear your mask. Uh, anytime any, any public space any public space indoors or outdoors There's also a curfew here it's from 11 till 4 a.m. You have to be home So yeah Fun times Price you pay to play. <laughs> All right guys tour time for the hostel we're at it's called the funky dodo We've got our bikes right here a little chill out area. Over here we have the kitchen. More chill area in our room. It's just through here. They have private rooms and shared rooms. It's probably messing our room. So. But we're room number five. I just got a bed. Pretty small, but hey, does the job. A fan, some fresh air. It's pretty sweet. And just a few steps from the beach. Long leg. I'm in uh, Hopkins, Belize. Get busy living. Cheers. We leave Hopkins on the City River Road, a beautiful clay-based path to the Thomas Vincent Ramos Highway. In short order, we're on Placencia Point, what some call the only K you can drive to. Of the 75 kilometers we ride today, 30 of it were on the sliver of land no more than a half a kilometer wide. The development is everywhere, and as we've learned from the locals back in the day, the drive was often an act of faith, as several kilometers were submerged at high tide. restaurant and bar for lunch. We met some really nice um, folks from California just on the way in here. That was awesome. And uh, we've ordered the special which is shrimp and cheese so we'll see how that is. For now we are enjoying watermelon and lime juice. Mm. Yeah it's uh, really cool. I just went online and uh, Simon Rich you get points again. Made a note say hey check this out. We're already here. Good work. Uh, yeah. Really cool day. Sure ride. Here's our lunch. It's shrimp with cheese. I got veggies and salad. So I got the same thing with veggies and rice. <laughs> Easy as one would think. We were looking for a hotel 
out and couldn't find a road that led there. Thankfully, we got some directions to a small sandy alleyway that indeed led us to the parking lot. We quickly ditch our hot and sticky riding gear and big boots for beach attire and bare feet to go explore. This small laid back town has lovely Caribbean beaches on one side and mangroves and lagoons on the other. We start the new year off right by taking a dip. We then explore the main street, the world's narrowest, which is a walking path. restaurant in the hotel and tonight we're having lobster but not just any kind of lobster what kind of lobster is it shrimp tequila lobster well I don't think there's any shrimp but tequila lobster so we will give that a go comes with baked potato and some veggies I'm excited sunrise this morning, got some omelets going on for breakfast, and uh, I think we're going to chill out here for a few hours before hitting the road. I'm going to talk to you and hang around for lunch. We'll give you the full down though later. The barbecue has started. What time is it? Barbecue time. <laughs> right answer. A little hot. It's a little toasty. Look at that goodness. Regan's on the barbecue. Walking to what's got possibly the coolest place we've been to in the week. Oh yes. Oh yes. Lunchtime. Look at this. This is the Food. downside of being a YouTuber. Uh -huh. yeah. Look at the thickness of that pork chop. Chicken. Bon appetit. Yes, the chicken. The chicken. Bon appetit. Hey, you guys can be YouTube stars too. Hey, Wave. <laughs> to all of our friends at home and, and the cops who we just met, we don't even know them. Beats so. the sixth slice. Paradise Hotel. Time to hit the road. trace our tracks for almost half of our ride before turning into the mountains. The Hummingbird Highway didn't disappoint. It came highly recommended. It was beautiful pavement, scenery, 
and a very rolly terrain. In this episode, we ride from Hopkins to the fishing village of Placentia. Enjoy some warm hospitality and barbecue with new Canadian friends. And after lunch, we pack up and ride north to a neat little place in the mountains called Santa Marta. And it happens to be near Herman's Blue Hole. All right, guys, we have made it to our destination for tonight, which is Kantara Ku jungle resort lodge we were supposed to be staying in a little hut like that but uh juan uh the little caretaker here uh upgraded us so we can park our bikes outside of this full-size apartment we're in the jungle uh it looks like a really cool property they've got some cool creatures that we're gonna check out but first let's show you the room so here's the bikes And it's like a full-size family place, but he said we can have it for the same price because there's nobody here. Hi. So, How are you guys doing? Welcome. Come on in. Living room. Little entryway. So there's two other bedrooms we won't be using. Little bathroom. And our bed. So yeah. Pretty, pretty sweet digs. We found it on Airbnb. We're gonna go meet Tank, one of the property dogs. Look at this place, it's just stunning. Super cool. He looks so cute. Got a bit of a pouncy look on him. Hi, Tank. Hey, big boy. You friendly? You gonna come say hi? Hi. Come here. Look at the wagging tail. Oh, you're a beauty. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Hi, Tank. Oh, who's a big boy? sure this guy's name but he's interesting he's not too sure what to think of us or people in general by the sounds of it but he's good looking yeah he is you got delegated to the to the chain for biting someone didn't you not sure how good you guys can see this thing but it's like the jungle deer it's pretty small, but pretty cute. There's another thing hiding in this one. Let's see. Oh, coming to say hello. Let's see. Can we see it better? Hi. Oh my god. Hi. What are you? And we got some parrots. Hi. He wants to be a YouTube star. <clears throat> Clear me out. I think there's another one in there too. Yeah, it says. All right, and this last creature is a Kinjagu, also known as a honey bear. And he's related to the raccoon family but has the head of a bear, they say the body of an otter, and the tail of a monkey. And look at those eyes. He's pretty cute. Oh, and they have very long tongues. 
Hi. Oh, he's coming out. Hi. They're curious animals and eat fruit. Eesh. So these animals were all rescued as babies. <clears throat> and raised here. He's so cute. Hi. Interesting patches on his chin there. Apparently he can nibble fingers. Oh, and there's his tail. Very funky. Pull time! I can feel those cold Canadian vibes in this pool right now. Is it chilly? Oh, it's nice and brisk. Or as we like to say, refreshing. <laughs> <laughs>